This robot is bringing a new sense to the term Mother Nature. Built by the University of Cambridge's Department of Engineering, this robot mother was given the simple command to build children capable of locomotion. Assembled from up to five plastic cubes with small internal motors, each robotic offspring is then placed on a surface where its performance is tested. By analysing the data it collects, the mother robot ensures preferential traits are carried through to the next child she designs. So the mother robot can actually build hundreds of child robots and see the performance of this child robots. And if the performance is good, keep the design for the next generation. If bad, just you know, uh, 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 let it go. Uh, and just repeating this uh, iterative design improvement uh, processes, the mother robot can actually gradually improve the design of child robots. Recent experiments showed how the mother robot improved the performance of her children over 10 generations. Fine-tuning of the design parameters led to versions that human designers might not have come up with. The largest experiment we did so far is about, uh, we built 500 robots. So mother robot generated 500 robots and see where, which one is good and which one is bad. And after all, we found quite interesting design that, um, the design of child robots that, uh, uh, that is very difficult to humans to design. The team believes it could one day have positive applications for industry, such as making cars. If you could have a robot cameras and evaluating how each car is being created and from the mistakes that you had in the operation, you could just uh, redo for the next car and for the next car and you keep redoing it, at the end you're going to have amazing cars. The scientist's current automaton takes about 10 minutes to design, build and test its babies. Their next step is to use a computer simulation to pre-select the best robot designs and use real models for actual testing. As Charles Darwin might have said, it's robotic survival of the fittest.